Hey guys, oh, welcome to today's video. Well, today uh, we are sitting in a one series again, but it's a new one, front wheel driven, three cylinders, diesel, not really the most exciting spec that there is on uh, this parking lot, uh, because we have some other cool cars over here though. That one is a 1M35i, which looks way better than this um, boring spec manual though, that's rare. Uh, yeah, just a little diesel, 1.5, three cylinders. The interior has gone up though in, on these cars, I have to say. Uh, you can say whatever you want about the new one series, the interior is a lot better, uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, back to the video also uh, back home. Um, uh, the first thing I want to say is I actually posted another Q&A post on YouTube uh, for a new video, but only two people have put a question down below. So if you want to have your question featured, uh, be sure to you know put down a question, and then you know I can at least make the video longer as three minutes because now the two answers will be very simple to answer. Uh, so that's the first thing that I want to ask you guys. At least if you want to post a question at the Q and A post, uh, post it down below. It will be the last post that I posted. That's a lot of posts in one sentence. Anyway, so uh, do we have updates on the one series? We are one week later since, um, yeah, since last week. <laughs> uh, and what has changed? Well, not that much, unfortunately. We still don't have the one series and we still don't have that much to look forward to. Um, the turbo, still stuck at the customs, still. They haven't done one single fuck in a week. Um, so the turbo has not even arrived yet at the shop who will, you know, do the turbo. Um, and then when that's done, the, the turbo also has to get sent back to me. So it's going to take up, you know, I, I fear it's going to take up a longer time than expected because we're already, um, I dropped the car off 15 days ago. The turbo got sent, I'm not 100% sure if it already got sent Friday or Monday the weekend after, but anyway, it has almost been sent out two weeks ago or two weeks ago and still no news, so it hasn't arrived at the shop yet. And then, uh, yeah, so we are not looking, that's not, you know, looking great. So I, I really fear that it will be March until the turbo is installed on the one series. Um, problem number two, Bilstein. So they gave me two options, sell the coilovers out right now which isn't an option because my car just can't drive without coilovers, but it also can't drive without a turbo. But uh, you know, the car is sitting somewhere in a garage and if it wouldn't have any coilovers, then they you know, would be pretty screwed over. Uh, so that wasn't an option. Anyway, the Bilstein coilovers, you know, the shock absorbers, they weren't available. They are on back order until the mid of February. So sending them out right now, that's you know, just useless. Um, so they gave me like two options, like send it out, they will inspect the shock absorbers and then they will say it's warranty or not. Or I buy two new front uh, shock absorbers, install these on the car, send the old ones to them. And then I also need to pay the new front absor front shock absorbers at, you know, up front. Um, and then they will see if it's warranty or not, and then I'll get the money back. But the thing is, if you sell me uh, shock absorbers that are already gone after one year and 25,000 kilometers, then I don't want that suspension again on my car if it's no warranty. Uh, so what did I decide? Well, I decided to buy KW V2 suspension for the car. It has to be made by uh, KW itself. So it takes in like six to eight weeks um so it's gonna you know take up some time until the suspension is here and until it's installed but since we can't drive anyway it doesn't really matter you know the car can actually still drive um on the current bilstein shock absorbers uh, they told me it's safe just a clunking noise is very annoying but there is no danger uh you know before i knew that i was actually kind of afraid to damage the car uh but you know it's it's nothing dangerous so that's a good thing 
Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see if the suspension gets replaced afterwards under warranty, then fine, then I'll just sell the B12 Sportline kit to someone. Um, I don't know about prices yet or stuff. Um, and if the shock absorbers are no warranty, then I will say, fuck you, Bill Stein, shove them up your ass, just keep them, and I'll sell the springs from Eibach. And then I'll just have a little money back, and then I'll give Eibach a very big rant on YouTube, because I'm, I'm a dickhead who does things like that. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, the, the Bilstein will get replaced by KWV2, so we can finally adjust the right height. Uh, because actually, I always wanted to have my car sit like an extra centimeter lower in the rear. Um, so that's that. And then, you know, the next thing is the borders. You know, I wanted to tune the car in the Netherlands, but I can't leave Belgium at the moment. But that's only until the 1st of March and it's already you know the first week of February so that's that only lasts another three weeks you know if it doesn't get lengthened but I don't think that will be like a major problem anymore because I don't think I'll have my car back within three weeks so probably when the car is finished the borders will be open again or I won't have to wait that long anymore so um, yeah that you know the next upcoming weeks won't be that special I fear uh, but once everything is done, the car will be back better as ever. Um, but for now, actually, because I, I, I'm not going to shoot this video every week. Uh, that will get boring rather quickly. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to take a little break for you from YouTube. So um, if I have something interesting to film, like I get my hands on a cool car or something like that, then um, I will still post, so you can expect videos, but if I just have nothing to shoot, my car is still weeks stuck in the garage, then I'm just not going to shoot for nothing, because that will also be boring and not a lot of people will watch. Uh, but, you know, the next video will be the Q&A video that hopefully, you know, will get some questions, so post your questions on the post. And also a friend of mine just has bought a very cool BMW, um, no, one of 35i with a lot of horsepower. Uh, it's not stock, um, and we are also going to make a video around that car very soon. So that will be a cool video soon. And uh, yeah, after those two videos, I actually have no clue what to shoot. Maybe we'll have more news then, and then I give you guys an update. But you know, if the the, the turbo gets stuck at the customs at in the UK. Then it, it is what it is, you know. Um, if, if someone who what who works at the customs in the UK, please hurry the fuck up. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I have nothing more to say. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you very very soon. Bye.